happy Tuesday. Welcome back to the sewing room. I'm feeling very virtuous. It is about 20 past 12 and I have edited and uploaded the vlog. I have packaged up the few parcels that have been paid for and sent those out. I've sent out Ka uh, Charlie's Cobra Corsage dress as well posted a parcel to Nia, done some shopping, made myself some lunch and now I'm down here ready to sew. It's only 20 past one. Usually I wouldn't be doing anything until about now. Well, I'd be editing, but yeah. So feeling very virtuous. I am wearing my 6563 and my finished skirt. I sat last night hemming it with by the bias binding made from the same fabric and I, I have to say I like how it looks. The usual satin bias binding that I use does kind of give more of a kick at because it's stiffer. It is still fluid but it is a lot stiffer than the uh, this, these kind of very drapey rayons so or viscoses so uh, yeah I think I like I like how it looks and it did take me a couple of hours to get this skirt all leveled and then hemmed and stuff but it's done now and I'm really pleased that I'm getting to wear it and I'm actually going to wear this outfit that I've had in mind since 2018 actually had in my wardrobe since 2018 but never fit me so I'm really pleased that I'm finally getting to wear it I've got it on with a Hortensia as well right so today I am going to start my way through the woodland harmony projects i have got face covering two scrunchies bias binding the anna top and then the 9077 shirt dress so i have got quite a lot to get through but i would like to get started on that today i still have the beach pajamas cut out is that the only thing i've got left cut? yeah just the beach pajamas of this fabric but i am going to just switch over just just for a change just to have something different under the sewing machine i would like to try and get that sew along done ASAP because it's been a year now that uh, that sew along has been outstanding for so yeah get that done as soon as possible yeah that's what I'm gonna get on with today thank you for all the love on the ruffly dress that I finished yesterday the eyelets don't look so bad in real life but on camera I don't know if it's because of the way I was standing because I don't I do I do tend to put my weight on one foot rather than between two so I do kind of tilt a little bit so I'm wondering if the eyelets not being quite perfect was more noticeable because of the way I was standing I'm trying to think whether it's going to bug me enough to unpick and take out that piece because I can't redo them because they I've cut holes in the fabric and put metal eyelets in there so if I want to change it I'm going to have to unpick and redo that front band I have the fabric for it not a problem it doesn't take up too much fabric it's just a lot of unpicking a lot of unpicking and very fiddly sewing getting it back in so I need to decide how much it's going to bug me yeah <laughs> we shall see but loads of you guys are saying in the comments that you wouldn't have noticed the difference in the eyelets unless I'd pointed it out to you so yeah yeah I always do try and point out things that I've fluffed up because you know I just it's like it's it's real life this is what happens when I'm sewing it, it's not always perfect it doesn't always work and things do go awry so yeah I whenever I do a sew along I try and keep those as perfect as possible just because it's a instructional thing of like this is how you do the thing and if I ever say ask me how I know it's usually because I fluffed up that point at some point and that's why I'm doing it the way that I'm then telling you that I'm doing it so that I don't fluff up again so yeah but I always tell you in the waffles when I fluff up because it's you know I'm human and things like that happen so yeah um, anyway I'm gonna get on with some sewing so I'll show you how I progress a little bit later two hours later mum and Susie, me, Susie have joined me this afternoon so if you can hear squeaks in the background it's because she's not happy that the door is closed but it's too cold for the door not to be closed so I have finished the by hand London I finished the by hand London and a top. Let me just tip you back and let down a little bit so I can show you the whole thing. So I have put the zip in upside down so it finishes, it closes here and the end of the zips up here. The neckline's big enough that you can get your head in and out no problem. This one I have finished with bias binding around the neckline and then just turning the edges of the hems in and in again. I think I probably would line another one although I don't mind the visible top stitching too much. The other thing that I did is I just left the bottom of the tucks at the front and the darts at the back. I finished them at the waist 
Do you want to say hi, Mum, because we can see you? Oh, oh no. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Do you want me to refilm all that? No. <laughs> Do you want me to say hi? Just very quickly. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> I've left the, the ends of the tucks open, so it's kind of got a little frill around the bottom. I did that on purpose. I didn't want to make it too much longer because I didn't want to try, I wanted to try and use as little amount of fabric for this as possible because I'm hoping this will be a scrap buster top because I know I like the style of this. I'm just a little worried that it's not going to be long enough to tuck in to a skirt. So let's, I mean, it will be, but then like moving around, I'm not sure. I need to put some press studs on this skirt. I've only put the hook and eye in. I might need to make it just a little bit longer so that it doesn't mm. like untuck itself, but maybe it might, maybe just like an inch longer. And I got away with putting a 16, 16 inch zip into this, but I, re I do really like this top. Mm. I think it's nice. I can definitely get it out of a small amount of fabric as well. That's really good. Yeah. Cause I've got loads of like off cuts and scraps that I've got way less than a meter of. And um, yeah, this would definitely work for those. So yeah, it was a good experiment. This oh. is the second second version of it. The other one I tried putting the zip in the normal way up and realized that it's gonna have to be at least four inches longer to get the 22 inch zip over my butt uh, so that I could pull it on and up. Uh, not over my butt, over my boobs. Yeah. Yeah, which is why. And one of you clever lot came up with the putting the zip in oh, upside yeah. down the same no, no, it was no. literally at the same time as I did yeah like we had this realization together but this next one is so big that you don't it's fine you can just easily slip your head in and out yeah. of it as well and also this comes with a v-neck as well which I really like too so yeah I think I might just make this maybe an inch and a half longer and then I think I'm going to call this one good That's all she does. You know, I don't even think we're being. You're, you're getting back into shot. Right. I'm not done. Okay. <laughs> you don't want to be in shot. Say it like that. I was going to say something now. Completely forgotten what it was. Sorry. 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 Right. Uh, so yes, I am very happy with this. I got my bias. I ended up with six meters of bias binding. I've got the two scrunchies done in this fabric and the face covering. I am just about to start work on the 9077. I think I'm going to sew the skirt panels together so they can start doing their th <laughs> so they can start doing their thing on the bias. <laughs> Anyone would think we're mistreating that. <laughs> oh, she's all right. She's totally fine. She's she's like she just She'd doesn't want to do. This. She doesn't want the door to be shut. That's yeah. the only thing. <laughs> Okay, it's seven o'clock and I'm going to call it a day for now. I have got the, I think you can just see it, the skirt of the 9077 done. I have started sewing the bodice. I've got all the darts done for the front and the back of the bodice, but I am, as I say, tired, so I'm gonna call it a night. I really like how that Anna top has come out. I will just lengthen it that little extra bit and then there are quite a lot in here that I think I can squeeze Anna tops out of. I think I probably will line them just because I prefer the finish that I can achieve with full a full lining. I don't mind the visible stitching on that one and I would have had to have lined it with a plain fabric which I haven't cut out yet. I've got five meters of it and I want to make a skirt and a shirt out of it so I wanted to make sure that I definitely had enough for that and you know it wasn't like a little bit short because I'd cut out a lining for this. I think going forward I will fully line them but I will wear this one. I will wear this one even though it's a little bit short and it's unlined. I think it's very pretty. I do like that look. I'm going to wear it a couple of times and just see how I feel about it with skirts or trousers because I have some really expensive wool which is actually in that cubby up there you can't quite see that I got from Stitch Fabrics I think it's a Dolce & Gabbana it's a summer weight wool but it is a wool fabric it was 35 pounds a meter and I got three meters of it and I want to do a three-quarter circle skirt if I can squeeze that out and one of those tops I was going to do a dress but I think it would look really nice as a top and a, and a skirt, which will make it look like a faux dress, but I would like the options to wear the skirt and the top with other things. I need to make sure that I actually enjoy wearing that top with, you know, for a full day to make sure that I shouldn't just make a dress out of that expensive wool, if that makes sense. I think that does. Yeah, it's definitely, it's an experiment. It's an ongoing experiment, but I think it's going to be successful. And it's the kind of thing that I enjoy wearing, like very fitted bodice and then a full skirt, as you guys know. There's going to be 
quite a lot more of them because I have quite a lot of fabric in this bit back here that I have, like I say, under a meter of, and it's gonna work really well for those. Which is awesome, because I would like to kind of clear this out as well. I'm trying to work, work my way through my stash and not buy too many more fabrics. It just means I've got to stay off of the textile center and off of Lady McElroy and off of Rainbow Fabrics and all the other ones as well. <laughs> So it's probably going to be a really quick video today. I hope you've enjoyed the little bit that I have filmed. I have had a lovely day down here and I am very much looking forward to coming back this tomorrow but my tummy is rumbling and I need to edit this this evening rather than this morning like I did with today's video. So uh, yes I'm going to call it a night and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!